During the first decades of the 19th century, the United States, along with several European countries, outlawed the transatlantic slave trade. However, this didn't prevent the trade from continuing illegally. In the Amistad case, the United States Supreme Court was confronted with a monumental question. Were Africans kidnapped by illegal slave traders really slaves, or were they free? In June 1839, a Spanish ship named the Amistad left port in Havana bound for Puerto Príncipe, Cuba. On board were the ship's captain, two Spanish planters named Pedro Montes and José Ruiz, and a group of Mende tribe members from the present-day African nation of Sierra Leone. During the voyage, the Mende mutinied, killing the captain and taking control of the ship. In August, a United States naval officer discovered the Amistad off the coast of Long Island. The ship was towed to Connecticut, and all the parties were brought before a federal district court. Montez and Ruiz asked the court to return the Mende, claiming that the tribe members were their slaves and therefore their property. The United States intervened on behalf of the Spanish government, citing a treaty between the U.S. and Spain that required the return of salvaged property belonging to Spanish citizens. The Mende argued that they weren't slaves, but instead were free people who'd been illegally kidnapped from Africa and transported to Cuba. The district court found for the Mende, declared them free, and ordered their return to Africa. The circuit court affirmed, and the United States appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court, where former President John Quincy Adams represented the Mende.